Hi everyone. In this video, I will be showcasing four successful proposals that helped me kickstart my freelancing journey. So if you are looking for some inspiration and tips on how to write winning proposal, then you are at the right place. So let's dive in and take a closer look at how I did it. This is my Upwork profile, right? So you could see uh, this is my name and this will be like, you know, some ranking in the Upwork, which is top rated. And this is kind of a job success. I used to have hundred percent. Now it is 99%. I don't know that how that 1% has reduced. And, uh, you know, this is, let's say my headline, which is like something right? I do with the NLP, GPT-3 and AWS. This is my hourly rate, which is $60 per hour. And you could see I have earned, let's say, more than 40K. Now it's almost approaching 45K or 50K here on Upwork. And overall freelancing, I might have made, let's say, more than 50K dollar because since I do, you know, uh, freelancing now outside of Upwork also, right? And uh, so this is hourly rate if I want to, you know, build some project for someone. And if I want to have only, you know, let's only consulting call, right? They just want to talk to me and see whether how can they, how can I help them? Or maybe they have a team. They just want my guidance and how to do this stuff, right? So in that case, I will be charging, let's say, you know, for 30 minutes, it will be $50. And so for one hour, it will be $100. And you could see like someone can have for 30 minutes and they pay $50 per hour, uh, sorry, $50 for those 30 minutes. Similarly, uh, let's say if they have a 60 minute consultation, they're going to, you know, uh they uh, we will be charging them hundred dollar per hour right now uh, this is what my overall profile look i have some intro here i am wearing now same t-shirt what i you know <laughs> wear in this particular uh, uh, video so this is how my profile looks if you look at you know uh i do have a lot of good reviews i, I think almost uh, i have all good reviews kind of thing and if i look at you know this is some portfolio this is the one i think i did uh this one the first project I did, which is related to custom name entity recognition, this is the portfolio thing I have attached. Yeah, one more thing, right? Before even I talk about this portfolio and all this thing, like why why we are creating this first of all video, right? So let's say I had, you know, recently, you know, appeared on Darshil's podcast where there I talk about my freelancing journey and, you know, how did I wrote proposal and some tips for the freelancer. So if you haven't seen this video, go and watch this video, right? So first of all, right? I get many questions on how to write a good proposal and that is the reason i am creating this video because i did talk about a lot of different things that you can uh, do with your proposal but i actually never show those proposal i never shown those proposal in this video i wanted to show those proposal and whatever i said earlier i just want to you know uh, touch upon those points showing the same thing you know so let's uh, you know maybe we have to go to our earlier job right the very first job so yeah I think this is the first job I did, right? So as I mentioned, I did like $100 job. This is also $100 job. The first initial two jobs were $100 jobs. And, you know, I got a good review for that. Both are fixed price uh, thing. And then eventually this is also another, uh, you know, uh, what you get fixed price project, which is somewhat bigger, the same from the same client, right? I had these two projects there. Also, you could see I got pretty uh, good review from those clients because I did a good job. And we will look at, you know, we will look at this proposal. We will have a look at this particular proposal. We will look at how I got, you know, from this proposal and maybe the other one also. So we will look at four proposals actually, you know, that start my freelancing, let's say career. And eventually I made more than 40K here on the Upwork. So uh, let's not waste time and let's look at, you know, how did I wrote, let's, let's look at this first one maybe, or maybe this one, I'm not sure, let's see. I tried to put that thing open here, right? And you could see I, I got $80 because 20% upward tax. And so let's look at this particular proposal what I wrote, right? So this part is actually the credibility of what I do, where I work and, you know, what kind of projects I have done. This is something very specific to because the client problem statement is related. He is having something issue with the extracting these linguistic features. That's what he has mentioned on the top somewhere here. Let's say if I could show you without revealing the client detail and I think, yeah, you could see um, the linguistic features, all of this thing he has mentioned here and which was actually with respect to what he's looking for. And then eventually I'm attaching demo because as I told you, I, I created some portfolio by looking at what kind of jobs Upwork, uh, you know, what kind of jobs are already there on Upwork. And then I will also attach my LinkedIn uh, URL. I will say that, hey, I'm actually uh, available and ready to start work. I'm new to freelancing. So these kinds of things I will mention. 
on the proposal and i will have a similar proposal what i wrote for the earlier client right so this was the first uh, task i got actually this is the second one uh, so this was the job posting that was there again 100 dollar job posting and someone like something related experience related to the reviews and the roberta kind of a model and they have attached some paper here uh, in the uh, job posting so this is what my proposal look like i am human because they ask uh, you know if you have read proposal carefully mention this i am human same thing you see i mentioned the same thing my credibility here also that this is what i do and then since he's caring about sentiment of the reviews i directly talk about that thing you know that I have done recently this particular project and then he mentioned Roberta then I also mentioned hey I have done the similar work what he is mentioned is you see my proposal starts with the credibility and then I directly mentioned very specific thing what they are looking for again I'm attaching my demo and I mentioned that same thing that I am new to freelancing and I'm perfectly right because I had already made my mind I had resigned and I was anyway exploring to become self-employed so there is no way to you know uh, worry about job and all these things so I will simply mention that I'm pretty new to freelancing and I want to do this kind of stuff right so this is what I did can you share some uh, you know code samples and uh, from the previous code so I think uh, I reply something right? I went through the paper what they have attached in the job description I, I talk about what exactly the paper is saying and then it is uh, you know where is that robert model all this detail i mentioned and eventually you know um, i i told him simply this thing you know i attach actually some notebook here i think in down i have attached notebook see here that how to fine tune such a model and i, I told him that you know uh, if you know machine learning then you can use that code yourself and you don't need me and you don't need to hire me so i simply said that thing and the down actually you know in the below message he gave me that particular task actually the client uh, give me the task In proposal same style credibility very specific experience what client is looking for some kind of a demo that i can attach and then i have shown some willingness and you know genuineness that you know uh, this is what i'm looking for so this was the second proposal that actually uh, got me job for the hundred dollar and you saw both of these actually proposals right whatever the task i did i got good five star rating good review right and let's look at the third thing right what i got so yeah this is i think uh, yeah third one now this third one again i'm mentioning the same thing but here now i change certain things because the client was looking for more of like something end to end so they had mentioned you know a couple of things like you know a lot of thing pipeline no sql database creating you know end to end uh, mvp it has audio parts speech to take it has everything actually this particular thing right and so that's what uh, i mentioned here you know that uh, i am i know how to do this end to end kind of thing i have done this kind of thing and all the things what he is looking for from docker to fast api and all this thing i mentioned and they talking about actually mvp and so here i mentioned that you know i can help you both open source and a state of the art sentiment analysis and the speech to text because that is what there and here again i shown that willingness you know that i'm happy to connect and discuss further right since now here i was full clear that i am transitioning into full-time freelance now because by this time i had completed 200 dollar jobs and i was very much comfortable i had already anyway resigned my job so i didn't bother about you know that i am going to do this now full-time freelance kind of thing and you know, ready to negotiate and do some sample work before you starting the contract to see how how much i was willing to even uh, do the work before even any contract start i was ready to do some work because i was confident if i do the work i make sure i do the good work and the budget was very high but actually the the project part was slow though there are a lot of things in project but i could finish this thing in just quickly actually so you know there was not much that i could charge them five thousand dollars or something so i quoted only few hundred dollars to them because almost all what they are looking for i had experience of doing those things as a hands-on kind of thing right so this is how actually so you see the theme is clear everywhere the theme is clear starting with some credibility then giving you know talking about very specific experience that what client is looking for then eventually some kind of you know willingness to you know uh, maybe jump on a call willingness to start work and genuinely mentioning hey i'm actually i care about this opportunity because this is what i want to uh, do and i will also attach my uh, linkedin profile so i hope you got an idea right eventually now all these three jobs were actually the fixed price job 
that you know i got a good now you see the guy has written very elaborate uh, review for me because i think i did a good job uh, all right and let's look at the fourth one because that one hourly job this all three are fix uh, job right now let's look at the fourth proposal again starting with the same thing but now i have much more to say because now i have completed three projects on upwork and that was really you know uh, it was like gaining a lot of confidence kind of thing then i say ki hey i recently started freelancing and i already completed three nlp job with the five star rating now you see my credibility change now i'm not just talking about i work here and there now i try to bring that credibility from upwork itself i said that i have completed three projects with the five star rating and then this is very specific actually client what is looking for in here in their proposal actually they are looking for you know hugging face spacey nlp kind of thing and that's what i actually i mentioned here and then since now i have a lot to say i shared these are the three things what i did recently and again this one i am new to freelancing okay i am not concerned about money and that was true i was not concerned about money actually by the time because i just wanted to prove myself uh, kind of thing right now i have uh, two more things uh, to show right i had one demo earlier and then i also did some speech to text demo so that i can show them because that similar kind of work i have done earlier now and you see i uh, got 50 25 work kind of a thing so this is how my things started you know uh, writing genuinely you know uh, what you know i could do for them telling their experience and again you can write anything in your cover letter only to make sure what you write you are able to justify it with your work so i was confident about my skill set that whatever they are going to give me given sufficient time i am going to uh, complete this thing and that also resulted into the let's say uh, a good review kind of thing and uh, eventually uh, this i think that might be uh, here the next page that also i got good review and eventually uh, my freelancing journey started and that is still going on like you know 40k strong i get lot of things so if you want to see how much work i get so let me show you yeah this see how many invitations i get to go now let me tell you one thing this all proposal something you know i see some job posting and then i'm writing proposal for them so this is i was you know approaching them but now things has changed now i don't write proposal i don't even remember when did i last time write the proposal now i get the invitation i will get invitation something like that and i will write proposal only to respond that invitation so i will most of the time i will see okay let's see what they want to offer and then i will reject right so you can see all my recent thing i have declined so i get more work than what i could handle you see in this last four five days how many things i have declined here all this what you see here all the proposals that i have declined or the you know invitation to work and that is where you know i i tell people uh, like i created recently a discord channel right that you know if i because these people ask me hey can you refer to someone and if i don't know sure about let's say i'm not sure about you then i can't refer you so that is so if you are let's say interested to do freelancing and you really have skill come to my discord you know so i think uh, i have a discord channel right uh, it's not that uh, you know it just very recently started but yeah uh, let's let me show you so you can come there you know i post freelancing opportunities there so if i see you can help other you know uh, kind of thing so this is the channel uh, you know we have actually uh, so you can come join here i you know kind of um, write some freelancing opportunities also here the whole idea is i want to see who is active who can help other and if i found that person is good then i make sure i give them freelancing opportunity i refer to them for any internship or i refer to them you know for uh, for any particular client or i can even ask them to work with me because you see i get lot of uh, work and i have now almost 10 people team some most of them are actually interns right so i hope you found this video useful you at least got a glimpse of now there is nothing hiding or anything you clearly see right what i wrote this is what i wrote nothing fancy but this was true nothing fake this is what i could do actually that's what i have so thank you very much and if you have any doubts maybe you can put it into the comment and i will try to create maybe the video answering those particular doubts right thank you